don't understand why you have had to take so long to actually get a vote to impeach or get this impeachment inquiry going. Do you feel that you have the votes within the House right now to we get a formal impeachment inquiry? I do. Do you? Now, House Republican Congressman James Comer and other House Republicans who have been attempting to engage in a political impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden have been embarrassing themselves over and over again to the point where even Maria Bartiromo's like, yo, what's going on here? Do you guys really have the votes for this? Now, Comer and Republicans in the House Oversight Committee have been trying to persuade the more moderate members of the Republican Party to join them in their embarrassing and evidence free quest at a politically motivated investigation into the Bidens. But Comer would like you all to be as delusional as he is in believing that there are enough votes to actually launch this impeachment inquiry. So let's watch more of what he had to say. We were in Washington DC for 10 weeks and there are about 15 or 20 moderates that, that they really worry about what CNN says or what the Washington Post writes. And, and they were getting in their head, Maria. But they, a great thing happened during Thanksgiving. The members went home, many of them for the first time and circulated for the first time in over 10 weeks. And they met people in Walmart and people on Main Street. And they're like, what in the world have the Bidens done to receive millions and millions of dollars from our enemies around the world? And did they not pay taxes on it? So they heard from their constituents, yes, we want you to move forward. We want to know the truth and we expect the Bidens to be held accountable for, for public corruption. It'd be great if they are guilty, if Joe Biden is guilty of public corruption. I mean, we would have seen the evidence of that by now. I mean, I'm sure that House Republicans, including James Comer, the head of the House, um, you know, uh, the the committee basically investigating uh, Joe Biden, they would have shown us that evidence the second they got their hands on it, but they haven't, it doesn't exist. And so Ian Sams, who's a spokesperson for the White House says, <laughs> Jamie Comer, meaning James Comer, Burisma, it's the talk of Walmart's nationwide kind of clowning Comer and House Republicans who are still going on and on about this. But Jenk, you kind of had a different take, right? Because yeah. Ian Sams in the White House seems seem to think that this isn't true, that Republican voters aren't going up to these members of Congress and demanding the investigation move forward. You think that that is happening? I definitely think it's happening. Hmm. Uh, so look, the Walmart line might be silly, but did the Republicans go back to their districts and hear from Republican voters that they want Biden impeached no matter what? Yeah, I'm positive that that happened. Why am I positive? Because I see the polls and I see story after story and you go on social media, you, every piece of evidence there is indicates Republican voters want Joe Biden impeached and they don't care why. They, they And you don't have to give them any evidence. In fact, they'll be furious if he isn't impeached even if there is no evidence, there's no evidence that Donald Trump won the 2020 election. Evidence is optional, they don't care. They're saying go get them, go and impeach them because Trump was impeached and that hurt our feelings. So we want you to do likewise to Joe Biden. It's look, people aren't getting it. For a lot of Republican voters, they care about power, not principles. They talk about principles, oh, the Constitution and freedom and all that stuff. But the minute there's an ability to cancel someone on the left, they love cancel culture. The minute that there is some injustice to, to do to a democratic politician, they love it. And they don't care about the injustice, they don't care about the uh, any of this. They're just telling their representatives, do your job of representing us. We don't give a damn about the evidence, so you shouldn't give a damn about the evidence. Just impeach the guy, who cares? So look, this is like the one area and it's a, it's a minor thing, I guess. And it's a, I guess a difference in perspective on whether Republican voters genuinely think that Joe Biden did something wrong versus them knowing that he did nothing wrong, but wanting to pursue a politically motivated investigation and impeachment inquiry anyway. And look, I gotta be honest, whether you're talking about typical mainstream corporate conservative media, or independent media or digital media like Tim Pool. Tim Pool is totally convinced that Joe Biden is guilty. And he compares Joe Biden to, you know, he basically says what Joe Biden has done is, is worse than what 
Donald Trump was accused of in his first impeachment. Remember, that was when Trump withheld congressionally appropriated funds to Ukraine in an effort to get Ukraine to announce a sham investigation into Biden in order to get a leg up in the 2020 presidential election. So I give you that example of Tim Pool because it doesn't matter what kind of conservative media you're consuming. If that's all you're consuming, you are definitely under the impression that Joe Biden is engaged in a corrupt scheme to profit out off of the foreign business dealings of his son, even though there's no evidence of it. Yeah, so I've talked to tons of Republicans as I travel the country. And Anna, you're making a fair point, but there's an important nuance in there. So do they actually believe that Joe Biden has done something wrong? Yes, to be fair to Republican voters, they believe it with all their hearts. But when you ask them for evidence, they always get emotional. They always say, yo, you didn't see Hunter Biden. No, I did see Hunter Biden, but I didn't see any evidence connecting Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. No, oh, yeah, you try to protect the Biden crime family. All right, dude, just hold on. Show me one piece of evidence where Joe Biden says, "Oh, go get me the money, Hunter," or Hunter says, "Hey, I'm sending right. the money now." Then I'll vote to impeach him. Hundred percent, right? Like yeah. I'd be a hundred percent in favor of it. But there isn't any evidence. That's why they've never shown it to you. You think that the Republican Congress people are sitting on the evidence? But they don't want to share it. Yeah, seriously. Come on, come on. But their bias is so clouding their judgment that they can't see straight. I had a like an Uber driver who was almost yelling at me about, oh, of course they're connected. I know, brother, but no, I don't know. It's not true, but okay, right. but give me why, how, right? They're like, oh, they're calling him the big guy. It's, what does that mean? That's not evidence. I know. They called him the big guy. Look, I, and look, I also have to be honest. It part of it is also wishful thinking, right? Where you despise a politician so much, and you want the allegations to be true so badly that you start imagining evidence where it doesn't exist, and or taking something that isn't really proof of anything and kind of latching onto it as if it is proof. And that happened a lot with Donald Trump. It happened a lot with Donald Trump when it came to the Russia investigation. You know, and it's sometimes you want something so badly that you see things that don't exist. And I think that there's a lot of that going on as well. The other part of this is there's all sorts of allegations about how the Biden White House is not cooperating with this investigation, but there's plenty of evidence indicating that they are cooperating with this investigation. And in fact, Ian Sams, the same White House spokesperson that I mentioned earlier, put out a memo making it abundantly clear, pushing back against the allegations that they're not cooperating and making it abundantly clear that they are, saying their own witnesses and documents have time after time debunked their false allegations. Faced with this level of failure theater, I like that phrasing, these same extreme House Republicans now appear to be trying to invent claims of obstruction and stonewalling to rationalize their illegitimate so-called impeachment inquiry. Claims of obstruction and snowwalling are easily refuted by the facts. Those House Republicans don't have to simply take our word for it. They should listen to comments from their own colleagues, such as Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, who has bragged on TV that he has received 100% of what we've requested and even said we're in the downhill phase of this investigation now because we have so many documents, which by the way, is true. He did say that on national television, it is amazing. As the Washington Post reported this week, the memo continues, so far the Biden administration has largely cooperated with the House GOP's various oversight efforts. So I fact checked that portion of the memo as well. I'm never gonna take anyone's word for it. I wanna look and see if the Washington Post actually did report that, and they did. In fact, they continue to write, Nearly a dozen former and current administration officials have appeared before the committee and congressional investigators that have appeared before them. Obtained thousands of pages of private banking records along with over 2000 pages of suspicious activity reports from the Treasury Department as well as documents from the National Archives. So where exactly are they not cooperating with the sham investigation? They're cooperating because it's a sham investigation and there's nothing to be found, which I love, like continue doing that. But now they're getting so salty about how embarrassing this is for the House Republicans that they're making all sorts of ridiculous unfounded allegations about the lack of cooperation by the Biden White House. Yeah, look, guys, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news, but I'm fairly furious with Joe Biden. If Joe Biden had done this, I'd be the first to tell you. But there's no damn evidence. So, okay, here's another excellent evidence to the 
contrary of what the Republicans are saying. So Hunter Biden calls their bluff and says, come on, I'll, I'll come in and testify publicly. And then the Republicans go, no, 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 we only want it in private. Why? If he's guilty, wouldn't you want to grill him in public? If you said to me, hey, Jane, you can grill Donald Trump in public or in private? I'd be like, that's a no brainer in public, obviously. I want to present the evidence and see what he has to say. I want to call him out on his BS. And most importantly, I want the American people to see it, right? The Republicans say, no, 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 we don't want it in public, because then people will find out they're lying. Instead, they want to do it in private and then pretend he said certain things. They're such obvious liars. It's so overwhelmingly obvious. But people only want to see what they want to see. And so, by the way, this is just the beginning. If Trump wins, real, uh, wins uh, this next election, which he now has an excellent chance, an overwhelming chance of winning, uh, they're gonna start putting people up for trial and evidence not required. Thanks for watching. If you become a member, you get to watch all this ad free, except for, of course, this ad. Still, hit the join button below.